some lovely colour. Yes, yes, it's your boy London Jawar. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button, like the video, stay for more videos, man. It's definitely a good place for recommendations and style for men's. If you've been there for a while, you already know what it is. This video here, I'm just gonna review a few picks from the latest Uniqlo U Autumn Winter Fall collection. Just a few pieces that I thought, you know what, these look good, I like them. Let me share it with my people. So yeah, without further ado, let me stop the long talk. I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay, so the first piece I'm gonna try on is this nice fleece jersey overshirt in a brown. Looks very, very stunning to me. I do like that material, it looks good, it looks premium. But yeah, let me try it on. Okay, yeah. Some lovely color, definitely goes well with my skin tone, I believe. But yeah, just cause it looks good on my skin tone doesn't mean it won't look good on yours if you're not the same as me. Definitely, if you feel the color like I do, definitely worth a shout. Surprisingly, it is a bit weighty, but not as weighty as, as I expected. Definitely feels like it will keep you nice and warm, as an overshirt should do. The colours feel pretty sturdy. They're not flimsy. As you can see, it's a button down. Also, the pockets over here, they've got buttons on them too. Quite deep. I believe those are the two pockets. I'll show you the sleeves, which are fastened with these brown buttons you can adjust them as well so you've got two buttons depending on how loose or tight you want it or if you don't want them on at all you can just take them off and roll them like so let's look at the color so this top bit can be buttoned up if you want to keep the top bit of your neck warm it is a bit tight now for me and that's how it looks like with the top button done looking very calm decent show it from the back fleece material feels like it will keep you warm for sure just want to see the inside see if there's any pockets inside Nothing that I can see. But yeah, that's the first piece. Now moving on to the next piece. Okay, the next piece I have is this brushed jersey long sleeved hoodie in a size large and the color brown. This brown is a different tone to the over shirt I just tried on. It's got a bit more of a darker hue and an olive to it. But Without further ado, let me just put that on, see how it looks. Definitely does feel a bit oversized, for sure. I feel like the large might be a bit big for me. It's definitely cropped at the bottom, as you can see. Cropped at the end of the sleeves too. It's definitely more of like a cozy vibe. See the drawstrings there. See, that's the hood. You see, we can draw it in, make it loose. We've got this pouch here, actually it's separated, so my hands don't actually meet when I put them inside the pocket. So the, the pockets are actually two different pockets on each side, as you can see. Yes, it's a nice little winter addition to the wardrobe. Oversized, decent color. Yeah, man, it's not anything spectacular about this one to be honest, but still a nice hoodie. As you can see, lovely, man. Can't complain about it. But yeah, that's the second piece. 
on to the next one. Okay, here's the third piece. This is a knitted overshirt in a color brown and a size medium. As you can see, this collection, the shades of brown have differed a lot. <laughs> Interesting. But I've been looking forward to this piece the most. I do have an affinity for knitted clothing and pieces. So yeah, let's see how this looks on me. Oh, yep, yep, yep. See this one here feels so nice on the skin, honestly. Putting it on, it just feels like quality, feels like it was made with care and thought. And also just the way it looks as well in the camera, as you can see, it does look like it's been knitted well. 100%. The sleeves are a bit loose though, as you can see. They don't really hug. But other than that, I like the fit of it. It's not too snug. Still a bit of room. It does feel heavy, I will say. I've got one pocket here on the left. Yeah, man, the colour, I like the colour as well. It's like a chocolatey brown. See, I like how this collection's playing around with the different shades of brown. Yeah. Yeah, man, this is my favourite so far. Show the back of it. Really, really like this piece. If you like it as well, let me know. Let me know your thoughts so far. What piece is the favourite so far out of the Uniqlo U collection for fall, winter, 2023? So unbutton the top just to show you how it looks without the top button done. It still looks kind of nice. Yeah, man. Really feeling this piece. Really, really liking it. But yeah, that's the third piece. Got a few more items to try on for you guys. So stay put. Okay, so here we have it. Feeling very 90s, feeling very suave in this one. This one is the brush jersey mock neck in a long sleeve and in a wine color. Yeah, I like this one, man. I like the feel, it's a lot more snug than previous versions. I believe I got the black mock neck in a previous Uniqlo U collection and it was a bit loose. I like how this one feels and looks. 100% man. This is for those that don't want to do the, this is for the people that don't want to really do the turtleneck. Just keep it a bit calm and subtle with a mock neck. I think I prefer the mock necks over turtlenecks to be honest. Let me know what you think is better in the comments. But yeah, color's good as well. It's a wine, but at the same time, it's got a little bit of brown to it. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but that's how I feel. Another theme I can see they've played with, that brown theme. But yeah, this is good, man. Wine is, it's a different, it gives that, I'll say luxurious or royal kind of feel. That purple wine, those kind of colors. But yeah, thumbs up from me. I do like this mock neck. Let me know your thoughts if you like it too. But yeah, on to the next piece. You know what, for the next piece, we've got this oversized long sleeve shirt in a medium. I thought, you know what, let me play around with these pieces and uh, wear this shirt on top of the mock neck and see how it looks. Also, this is a color brown, an interesting brown. It's got like a clay kind of tone to it, as you can see. But yeah, let me put it on, see how it looks with a mock neck. That's why. Okay, here we go. Quite interesting. Let me know your thoughts on this one, man. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of this oversized shirt, but if it looks good to you, let me know. Also, the material's kind of different. It's got like a, you know, like a technical 
kind of like sportswear feel that you can see sometimes on like track suits and swimming shorts, that kind of vibe. So that's quite interesting to point out. Even the stitching. Do you like the contrast of the stitching? Like the dark kind of brown on top of this clay brown, just to give a little bit of style. But yeah, man, we've got one pocket here as well on the left. Button down. Apart from that, nothing too, too spectacular. How's it looking with the mop neck? Is that a vibe? I'm not sure. Colors all right. Show the back. But yeah, it's just a oversized shirt. Nothing too special. Not to rant and rave about. But yeah, let me know if you're feeling it. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. But yeah, I've got one more piece to have a look at and try on and see how it looks. So just bear with me, guys. Okay, last piece I have here is this reversible stand jacket from the Uniqlo U collection. Interesting, for sure. This is a brown and this is a size medium. Got a fleece inside. And then the polyesterish outside. So I'm gonna try it on uh, with both sides and see how it looks. Show you how the buttons look. See, it's got a bit of a open fly bottom system, as you can see. I'm guessing that's because of the reversible side of things. Okay, so this is how it's looking right now. It's got a nice shine to it. Got the cuffed sleeves as well. Got two pockets. They're both fastened, closed with one button each, as you can see. Show the back of it. Cool, cool. Apart from that, it's nothing too spectacular about this jacket. There's no hood. So I'm guessing it's just more of a uh, jacket to keep you warm on a dry winter night or winter day. So yeah, man, it's all right. But yeah, let me see the other side reversed. See here we have the fleeced side. Definitely looking way more cozy than the polyester side. Let me zip it up and see how it looks. Zip that all the way up to the top. Yeah, it just looks like your normal fleece jacket. Got two zip pockets on the side. Interesting design. Can't complain about this. I'm sure there's other colors as well from what I remember. Yeah, decent, decent jacket. Not a go-to for me, but it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, I believe that's all the pieces we've got. Actually, there's one more thing I've got just to try on. I just thought, let me see how it looks. It's from the Uniqlo U collection. Bear with me. Okay, so yeah, we've got this Uniqlo U mini messenger bag. I thought it was quite interesting. I'm not really too familiar with Uniqlo U doing accessories like this. So I thought, yeah, I might as well try it on, see how it looks. As you can see, it's got them old school fasteners like this, you see? And you press the two together to release it. Let me show you a quick look. Here we go, this is the... Oh, lovely, that's interesting. That's how you open and close it. Oh, it's magnetic as well. Nice. But yeah, inside, you've got one pocket, a major pocket where you keep most of your stuff and then one little pocket where you can keep smaller things. This pocket can come out as well, as you can see. There you go. Uniqlo U. Then we've got another pocket right here. So that's three 
forms of storage already. And then we've got the little fun piece there, that little magnetic bit. Got another stock piece of storage on the back that's enclosed by a button. So quite decent. Honestly. It's an alright bag, I'm not gonna lie. For £20, it's, it's a decent price. But yeah, let me put it on. See how it looks. Okay, so I managed to get it on after a long battle of uh, making the strap loose. But yeah, this is how it looks. To be fair, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's just something that I thought, you know, let me try and see how it looks, something different. You know, one of you guys might like it, innit? You might want to see how it looks on. So I thought, you know what, let me do that. And this is quite affordable too. Nice bit of material underneath there. But yeah, man, this is it. But yes, that's the video done for the Uniqlo U Autumn Winter 2023 collection. The pieces that I chose to try on anyway. But yeah, if you like the video, give the video a like. If you're feeling my content, subscribe to the channel, man. Constant videos, more videos of men's clothing and men's style to come. Just, yeah, stay tuned. But yeah, that's it for today. It's your boy London Jawa. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, peace.